Well, Ricardo Morrison is accused of stabbing Amy Lee Barnes to death in an attack described as frenzied at her grand's house. He denies murder and has spent the day explaining his account of what he says happened on the 8th of November last year. He started off by describing the relationship that he had with Amy. When asked if he loved her, he said very much so and explained how the pair were engaged and had thought about having a baby together. We then heard how throughout their relationship they did have regular arguments but he repeatedly denied assaulting her. He was asked did you ever use or threaten her with a knife? No, he replied. When asked if he threatened to strangle her with a mobile phone cord or even punch her, he said never. We were also told about what happened the night before Amy Lee's death. She was at her grand's house with Ricardo and the pair had started arguing when she went up to bed wanting him to join her and he said he had some work to do on the computer downstairs. The next morning after another argument, Ricardo left the house to do some banking and he texted Amy to say, I'll be back later, love you. She sent one back. You punched me, sprayed aerosol in my face and slammed the door into my arm. Then later on she sent another one, leave me alone, I hate you, it's over. Sometime after that he sent one back, evil bitch. We then heard Ricardo's account of what happened just after Amy had been stabbed. He says he returned to the house, finding the door ajar, and went inside, seeing Amy face down on the floor. He said she was looking uncomfortable. He then described his feelings, saying, I was in shock, I was in denial after what I'd seen. I just ran and left her. I didn't know what to do, hearing the sirens as well, and everything that had happened that day, I just got off. When asked, what were you concerned about, he replied, being blamed for it. We then heard Ricardo Morrison explaining how he went away praying for Amy before finishing his banking business and then getting on a bus down to Birmingham where his mum lives. When he got there, he washed his clothes, explaining that that was a usual thing for him to do and then had some food. He was arrested by police at around 10 o'clock that night. Finally today, he was asked a simple question. Did you kill Amy Barnes? He shook his head and said no. He'll carry on giving evidence tomorrow when he'll be cross-examined. James Webster, Channel M Today.